All right, uh, we managed to uh, split up the uh, cabinet for that 161. Uh, it was relatively easy. I was surprised how simple it came apart. Um, unfortunately, the other the other end uh, it came off in three pieces. Um, that was the end in the prior video that I mentioned that was uh, separating and two of the seams well I separated all four pieces from each other and because uh, that was the end that had the uh, bow in uh, one of the uh, in one of the pieces so I had to break it apart and put it in a put it in a jig uh, on that paver and and seriously crank it down with the clamps, the heavy clamps, uh, in order to get and after wetting it with water and uh, letting it sit for a day and it 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 did press out the the bow in the wood um, now I've got half I got it in half pieces here those two pieces right there had the bow in it and uh, that those were the ones that separated when I knocked down the uh, cabinet uh, I'm getting them re-glued up re-laminated there and then once those are done I gotta clamp up those and get those glued up together and then when that is done I gotta take and shape the uh, the raw edges and put both of those pieces together and get them clamped up so that I can get it back to this this end the ends are made up of four individual blocks uh, and uh, this one here, it doesn't seem to have, there's a little issue there, but I think that there can be uh, readily taken care of with some fill. Um, so uh, I've got that to take care of. That's going to be another couple days probably for that. I managed getting them stripped relatively easy with the help of some citrus strip spray and I sprayed it on there and buffed them over, let them sit for about 15 minutes and then come back with a a short bristle brush uh, like like this and schmoozied it all over the place and then got her cleaned off and and then these here have been dried and um, and sanded. That's the reason why they look so so clean. I went through and I sanded up all the pieces. This is the uh, bar that goes in here. Yeah, see if I can get back here. Doing this in HD is is getting. Uh, I'm not getting everything in frame. Uh, this is the piece that went in there, and this was the silver colored bar that went across this thing that somebody had painted silver and all the rest of the cabinet was black uh, these are the two end pieces we got a little crackulation right there uh, that we got to deal with and some more right here that we got to deal with uh, I hope it's not too big of a problem this is the top this here is the piece that has the separation right there about yeah, it's gone a little more than half halfway across and I realized why and once I got it once I got the pieces all separated and everything is there were supposed to be screws in this piece into the thing like see there, there in here there there's no screws in this either I'm surprised this thing is still hanging on uh, with the exception of these end pieces right here um, and the other one is right here this came off with the end um, the, 
with the exception of these two these two pieces right here everything else is put together with screws and glue uh, these here are are brad nailed to the top and then the, when the top goes on with the glue then they through the side sides here in three spots on each end they use ring shank screw uh, ring ring shank nails brads or whatever you want they're a little they're bigger than a brad but they're they're smaller than a nail and they go into the end pieces there and that's what holds that together and those are the only nails really other than the two brad nails that are in the ends here that go on each end of this front rail uh, this bottom I didn't have to remake thank goodness it came off there real nice and it's still laminated pretty pretty well so I'm just gonna have to take and just buzz it with a with an orbital or a palm sander and uh, rough it up and smooth it out and paint it along with the interior of everything else uh, in here uh, the t-shirt uh, they glued everything in this piece here it used to be brown with some uh, like Roman leaf or something up the sides here here and there uh, but they after that they stapled the t-shirt on all the way around I mean everywhere even on the inside here they stapled it all off uh, they glued this um, border for the glass uh, and the uh, FM AM labeling area and the this one here they didn't have to glue but that one there they glued one tang of it and everything and broke off so I'm gonna have to deal with that the emblem well they uh, they managed breaking the little uh, pecker stickers <laughs> sticker seckers uh, that held the thing on they held them on with a little uh, spring clip uh, the kind that you'll break the plastic trying to pull pull them up, pull it off well th they managed it uh, and so they just they just glued that in place and was done with it <laughs> but fortunately they didn't right here uh, there's an issue right there that's got a uh, a weak spot here here and here uh, on this cross piece in here for the badge um, I think I can deal with that but the rest of it is still pretty good intact it's still structurally good um, so uh, at least we don't have to remake that um, so anyway uh, I have yet to check out the chassis I've been uh, everything has been sitting here since the last time you, uh, I did a video on this thing and extracted the chassis out of the cabinet um, I got the tube in for my 439 Zenith and I just shot the last coat on my uh, on my cabinet I, I would have had the cabinet done a couple of days ago except I went down to get me some more uh, spray poly and when I got it here and decided to sh to make another coat or two onto the cabinet well good old rust-oleum uh, well it wasn't rust-oleum uh, but rust-oleum has a bad <laughs> a bad issue about their spray nozzles clogging or spitting well what happened was the the nozzle on the on the poly can started started accumulating uh, residual poly at the can and I was painting the top or shooting the top and lo and behold two drops 
fell on the top of the cabinet and I had to give it an extra day and a half to cure up so that I could resand it so I had to I had to mask off the entire uh, cabinet except for the top so I could redo it and I just shot the last coat on the top so that cabinet is going to be ready tomorrow late afternoon to be handled enough for the uh, chassis to go back in and we'll be able to get that wound up but it's gonna uh, I managed getting the tube in and uh, checked out and put into the chassis and everything is copacetic on it I managed to get a full alignment on it it went off without a hitch finally and um, she's picking up real good so uh, we're going to get around to going back to the 439 Zenith um, in the next day or so well certainly in this next week it is Sunday um, the 5th so um, we'll be moving on so thanks for watching stay tuned we'll have We'll have more significant stuff real soon.